Happy Wednesday! Happy Hump Day! Hello! Welcome to anyone who's new. Welcome to Deep Soul Channel. My name is Kelly. And welcome back to anyone who's returning into my tribe. Lisa, Wanda, Kathleen, I remember your name now, um, who watches. Um, thank you so much for tuning in. Alright, we're going to get some Wednesday wisdom. What does Spirit have? What messages does Spirit have? Some words of wisdom to help us get through what we're getting through. So Monday was about maybe carrying someone's extra burdens that belong to someone else. Yesterday was about taking action. And today, September 9th, 2020, is about words of wisdom that Spirit can give us. And just as a side note, my dad is no longer alive, but today is his birthday. So happy birthday, Dad. And my old roommate, Dad and Chad, my old roommate Chad, his birthday is today too. So happy birthday, Chad. All right. We have... This is a general read, by the way, so it's not going to resonate for all of you. So just take what resonates, leave what doesn't. I call this series is now Tarot in Five. All right, so it's five minutes readings. <laughs> just because of issues I have. But transformation, a fresh new way of living emerges. This is beautiful. So some sort of action that you need to be taking is going to allow you to start a whole new way of living. So Spirit wants you to know that... This may feel, it may be hard. You know, yesterday we had the Five of Wands, some battles. Damn. <laughs> hang on. Hang on, peoples. All right. Another effort. All right, let me cut the damn deck. Um, anyways, um, so these are, <coughs> just know that it may be difficult. It may be a little emotional. The Spirit is saying, this is a transformation. This is what's needed, it's meant to happen. Five of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles, and the Queen of Pentacles is all about, the Ace of Swords is about getting your truth and clarity, stay grounded. Although you may be emotional, this may be difficult, you may have bumps in the road, stay grounded. The Five of Pentacles is feeling wounded. Like, you see in the picture here, the person's walking behind, like, they're in the cold, and, and it's, and it's hard to keep moving forward when you're wounded, when you're thinking about things. You, you know, you don't see it. But this is encouraging you to, to come up with new ways of thinking. New ways, um, learn a new way of thinking and um, be a good student. You know, do your homework. You have the page, going from the page to the queen. The queen is very much about experience and wisdom. You are going to gain so much wisdom from whatever it is you're going through. And, you know, when we go through crap, we can't see that necessarily. You know what I mean? You're kind of stuck in that energy of, you know, why is this happening to me? Or what do I need to do? Blah, 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 blah. And, you know, okay, you know, deal with that. Don't, don't poo-poo it away. That's how you feel. But the thing of it is, is everything is a lesson for us. All right? The lovers. Strength cat. And the three of wands. You have the strength? I believe it was yesterday. And the hangman. I believe this, the hangman was yesterday also. Okay. So what I'm hearing specifically here with the lovers, I'm hearing specifically you need to balance masculine and feminine side. We all have masculine and feminine energies within us. Spirit is shining a light on you. And embrace whatever emotions you may be going through, okay? No one said that going through crap wasn't going to be emotional. However, the lovers is saying you need to balance those two out. And um, I'm hearing spirits say, follow your heart. You know deep down what you want to do here. You need to con deep, dig deep and conjure up that strength. And then do what you need to do. Take some sort of action. First step. You have to do it all at one time. First step. And then just kind of wait. wait and see. It's a kind of a wait and see. You know, with the hangman here, also wait and see. What's under the hangman? Five of Cups. Don't focus on the negative, you know. It's, it's Sometimes it's hard. We can get caught in that negative energy. And um, the Five of Cups is crying over spilled milk. Yes, you may have had some losses. But you know what? you got to pull up those bootstraps and you got to just plow forward. A fresh new way of living emerges. You just have to believe in spirit and the universe that they're doing the best for you. And that you can get through this. Just keep moving forward. All right? I'll take that advice myself because I'm having a time myself. All right, my beautiful people, this is what I have for you. Tarot and five. See how that goes? So it doesn't take much to, to listen to it. You know, your little break. Um, thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you will join me tomorrow. Tomorrow's all about Thursday thoughts. All right, so join me tomorrow. All right, thanks so much. Thanks for your support. Thanks for tuning in. Peace out.